The latest coronavirus numbers for Louisiana are in, and we now know that 3,000 more people have overcome the virus. Today, there are just over 300 new cases from yesterday and about 30 more deaths across the state, which brings the total to nearly 30,000 cases and 2,000 deaths. While those in the hospital and on ventilators have fallen, officials also say that now more than 20,000 people in the state have recovered. Well, you will want to look to the skies again later this week. The Blue Angels will soon fly over New Orleans. They have been honoring health care workers across the country. And Wednesday, they will make their flight here again. Right now, it is scheduled for 1.45 that afternoon. And of course, we will continue to cover this exciting tribute for us. They will tell us a release and we'll have a, a map of this to hopefully by tomorrow. Livingston Parish government offices have reopened today despite Governor John Bell Edwards' stay-at-home order. Parish President Leighton Ricks says the reopening will only apply to the parish offices and not the state offices. He says steps will be taken to keep the reopening as safe as possible. The parish will install plexiglass virus safeguards and will separate workers and visitors at counters and other areas throughout the building. Anyone dealing with the public will have to wear a mask and gloves. Anyone visiting the office is being asked to come alone. While we won't see any signs of reopening anytime soon in New Orleans, restrictions are still tight here, and city officials say health and safety will determine a three-phased approach. The first phase will ease restrictions on low-risk operations. A committee will decide this week what businesses are considered low-risk. Well, happening today, free walk-up testing is available in Mid-City for anyone who has been exposed to coronavirus or is showing symptoms. Our Megan Key has more. I'm here at Kaminsky Park where walk-up testing is happening right now. This is all part of the community testing initiative being brought by LCMC Health and the New Orleans Health Department. Today through Wednesday, people experiencing COVID-19 symptoms can come to the park for free walk-up testing. While in line, residents are keeping a minimum of six feet between each other and wearing face masks. The mobile testing campaign is bringing free testing to neighborhoods that have been heavily affected by COVID-19. The goal is to identify early cases. Walk-up testing will be available here at Kaminsky Park through Wednesday. That's happening from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. or until they run out of tests. They're able to administer up to 250 tests per day. Reporting in Kaminsky Park, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. Louisiana lawmakers are back in session today after a temporary adjournment in mid-March due to COVID-19. The State House and Senate are back in Baton Rouge. Republicans want to finish the final four weeks of the session, which began on March 9th. Many Democrats, though, say it's unsafe to bring everyone back to the Capitol. You can see these photos here posted to Twitter by Representative Mandy Landry. Plexiglass has been placed on the floor while some lawmakers are wearing face masks. At least one state lawmaker will not rejoin his co-workers today. Democrat Senate, uh, State Representative Ted James of Baton Rouge wrote on Twitter that it's irresponsible. James was diagnosed with COVID-19 and was hospitalized for several days. He said he will not return to the Capitol for any business for the foreseeable future. Also in early April, Representative Reggie Bagala died from the virus. Today, the U.S. Travel Association will meet with medical experts to determine guidelines for reopening businesses that involve travel. Leaders hope the suggestions will help travel businesses come up with an effective plan to resume operations while keeping customers and workers safe. Today, Carnival Cruises announced that they will begin uh, reopening here in phases that will start on August 1st. The first round of ships will leave from Galveston, Miami and Port Canaveral. All other cruises will be canceled through August 31st. And some airlines have already decided to make it a requirement for face coverings for passengers. Starting today, if you're flying with Delta, JetBlue, or United Airlines, you will have to wear a face mask. If you're flying with Delta or JetBlue, you will also have to wear it until you reach your destination. United Airlines says masks are also required for their staff. A quick reminder, before you head to the store, you will have to wear a mask at Costco now. The rule begins today. State leaders have asked store owners to wear face coverings as a requirement for customers. The RTA will also require passengers to cover their face if they want to ride. The CDC recommends that you wear a mask anytime that you might be around others. Globally, there are nearly 3.6 million coronavirus cases with more than 80,000 new cases overnight. 
The amount of those killed by the virus now sits at nearly 250,000 globally, while here in the United States, that is uh, nearly 1.2 million cases, more than 68,000 deaths. Elise Preston has more. As restaurants and hair salons begin to open their doors in some states, the frustration is growing in states where governors have extended stay-at-home orders. In Washington state, this barber opened over the weekend, defying state orders to remain closed. Customers congregated outside his door, and he says he has the support of local law enforcement. Because it's our constitutional right to do what we are doing to maintain a li livelihood. In states where it's allowed, many Starbucks stores will reopen for pickup only. Simon Property Group, the biggest mall operator in the U.S., plans to open nearly 50 malls this week. Customers are encouraged but not required to wear masks. And the South Dakota meatpacking plant, where nearly 900 employees got sick, will also partially reopen today after being closed for more than two weeks. But health officials in communities across America are keeping a wary eye on everyday case numbers. Texas began opening up its state on Friday. Sunday, Dallas County reported 234 new cases the biggest single day jump on record. Here in New York, the number of cases and hospitalizations continues to trend down after weeks of uncontrollable community spread. This field hospital in Central Park starting today will not be accepting any new patients since nearby hospitals can handle new cases on their own. And a last dispatch call for a hero. This is the last call for paramedic Paul Carey. The body of 66-year-old Paul Carey was returned to his home in Colorado last night. The paramedics succumbed to the virus while volunteering in New York City. He was given a hero send-off at the airport, and his family says he died doing what he loved. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. It is 12.08 and on Wall Street, stocks stumbled at the start of the new week as airlines shares took a big hit following news from Warren Buffett that Berkshire Hathaway sold its entire stake in the four biggest U.S. air carriers. Here's where the Dow currently stands. Well, more and more people are recovering from the coronavirus every day. Right now, there are more than 1.1 million recoveries worldwide. More than 178,000 of those are in the United States. And as we told you earlier, here in Louisiana, more than 20,000 people have recovered.